All right, what's going on, dudes? And welcome back to Hexit, where behind us, there stands a structure so great, so majestic, the likes of which have never been witnessed before in this entire video series. I give you, I don't know what it's called, but it's really, really cool castle of coolness. That is my name for it. So as fate would have it, I ended the last episode just right down there before any chunks had loaded north of me, and then I walk over this hill, and bam! It's amazing! Oh my gosh. This is actually kind of, kind of awesome. I, this, well, as you know, we've not run into this structure before, and I'm kind of looking forward to conquering it. I don't know if there's stuff all the way up each of these. We should just take a full walk around so that we can appreciate the glory that is what we are about to enter. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at how majestic it is. <laughs> oh man, I wonder how many mobs there are inside this thing. It's gonna be ridiculous. Oh, it's another igloo. Would you look at that? But igloos had nothing on the structure right beside it. Let's continue around and see what it has in store. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this. It has like a mountain village inside it, and then rooms inside the legs that go all the way up to this majestic top overhang structure, whatever it's called. I wish I knew the exact name of it because a structure so great deserves a proper title. However, we will continue without knowing the official name. Ooh, it even has a, it has a big room up there. So where do we start? Where do we begin on this? I almost feel badly disturbing the inhabitants of this because, ooh, we have an official entrance. I suppose that's where we start. And more walkers. Wow. I, uh, <laughs> I think that we have stumbled upon the, uh, the walker stronghold of all strongholds for the ages. And I guess creepers are just going to help me out here. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I have accidentally, inadvertently destroyed some blocks out of your big dungeon here. I don't know why everything seems to be inhabited by walkers these days. I guess it would simply be because this is, of course, the apocalypse. I actually don't know for sure if it's the apocalypse, but uh, there are walkers everywhere and they're going to keep spreading their infection. But if I can help it, I will reclaim the structure for whoever its rightful inhabitants are. I don't know who those inhabitants might be, but over time, it may become clear to us. Okay, so let me just knock you out of there. See you later, bud. And there. Oh, God, it's an infernal one. Crap, let me take him out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ow. Oh, God. oh. no, it's a pain. I'm so sorry, penguin. Oh, I just killed a poor old helpless defenseless penguin. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Leave me. Leave me. Be just, just one second. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm in so much trouble. No, we're good. We're good. Woo. I thought I was in trouble there for a second. So what did we get for that? We got knocked back. He gave us knocked back too. What a great guy. Of all the enchantments I would ever not want, um, knocked back is probably the one that I most do not. Oh, are you freaking serious right now? Are you serious? Is this, do we have, do we have matching majestic structures? The likes of which have only been seen once before throughout this entire se hold on just a minute oh my goodness oh my goodness we have we have matching structures of majesticness i don't know if these are identical or not i'm trying to i'm trying to tell by the mini map it looks like they may actually be yeah the identical structure huh which means i think the only the only better dungeons structure that we haven't encountered yet is the Castle W.E., which again is a snow castle, and I don't know where to find it, but hopefully, given that we're on a bit of a roll here, we might be able to stumble upon it soon. Anyway, back to our, <laughs> back to our current massive snow castle at hand. Let's re-enter it, and uh, I don't know, we can try taking them both out or something. That could be the way to do it. Here, let's flip the lever. Anything? No, I don't think that did much. Oh, I could have eaten cake instead of eating my my beef. All right, well, let's see. We'll be sure to enter all the different rooms that are accessible. Oh, is this perhaps the bottom part of the leg? <laughs> nice. The chests have been retextured um, for Christmas by Mojang. Gonna have to uh, keep that in mind. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I haven't uh, I haven't changed anything with 
with my textures, this is all being done on uh, on server side apparently. So that's funny. Any hoosers, let's toss this stuff back in because we don't need it. And just appreciate the nice Christmassy chests. I don't know exactly what day this episode of Hexit will go up. Hopefully it'll be around Christmas time and therefore this won't be uh, too out of place. Um, but now you know when I'm recording this. It's actually Christmas Eve. Right about now, in my current time zone, for other people who are further along, it's actually a uh, Christmas Day. Actually, for some people, it's like Christmas Day Day. For other people, it's Christmas Day Night, or Christmas Day Super Early Morning, however you prefer to say it. And for other people, it's not even Christmas Eve. Oh, actually, for most people, it's Christmas Eve by now. Because I think it's evening on the 24th, at the very least, for most people in this world. Anyway, I'm spending far too long discussing what time it currently is. And not enough focusing on... Stupid walker healers. I don't like it. I don't like it. You, you're going to stop. Ha <laughs> ha, who's going to heal the healer? No one. No one's going to heal the healer. Not anymore, at least. All right. Ooh, we have 37 levels. And how's our armor doing? It's still doing okay. We may actually need to refill on our armor. Um like midway through this thing. We'll see how it goes. But uh, any hoosers. Ooh, armor stand. And grab some more torches, grab some more torches. And should I grab, I should actually grab cobalts and ardite. I should actually pay more attention to some of the, um, the Tinker's Construct ores because they can be quite useful. So hold on, let me go down here. And I can't remember, were there any located in this particular area? Um, copper, cobalt, anywhere, and boom. Nope. Okay. Just want to make sure I should collect the, uh, the cobalt, the ardite, and the manulin whenever possible. I did not go up here quite yet. Let's see. What do we have here? We have another, another way around that side. And let's go up this way first. Ooh, nice little, this little staircase right here. And another healer who is about to get unhealed by me. Kabam! Nope, that was a miss. Okay, should I trick shot? I'm gonna trick shot the healer. Oh, this you could do the most massive trick shot ever. I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to like leave one over and Oh get rock and roll, son! Okay, oh god, there are a lot of you. There are a lot of you. And quite a few, it's okay, I can jump over your heads and stuff. And trick shot you left and right, trick shot all day, trick shot all day. Oh, double kill with one shot using the legia. Ooh, big plays, and... Oh, he's... Oh, he doesn't want none of this. He don't want... Oh, God. Ow. Ow. That accuracy was very poor. <sighs> hoo -ya! Nope. That was very poor as well. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, we have an invisible fiery alchemist. Oh, God. Ow, it hurts. Please stop. Um, allow me to... Oh, no. I don't actually... Crap! Oh, God. I gotta go. I gotta go. This is actually really painful. I don't have my, um... <laughs> I don't have my scale armor on. So let me, yeah, you're gonna be Dunzoed. Oh God, I hate the fact that it hurts me when I, oh God, ow, it hurts, stop. Okay, we're good. Ooh, if only my water breathing would give me the ability to not take fire damage, that'd be great. I still haven't figured out why, why people just like to give you, why the infernal mobs like to give you the water breathing buff. Makes sense. You know, we're gonna try to kill you, but we're also gonna give you the ability to breathe in water, because we're nice guys, too. We're not all bad. Okay, electric essence, things that I don't need, we can toss on back in there. And things that I do need, I can toss on back into here. Cool. Okay, anything more? Nope. Nothing more of interest. How about, I don't think I've been in here yet. Nope, 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 no, I have been in here. Okay, well, let's continue one up. Um, if there is more to see, or shall we move on to the other side? Hey, who is, okay, Infernals, just Infernals everywhere, and you're about to get leggy it up. You're about to get leggy it up, leggy it up so hard. See you later. Uh, I think he dropped an iron bow, which is not as good as what we currently have. So let's continue on to the other side. Why not? Just to make sure, yeah, I think we've covered everything on that side. So let's continue starting from the ground up on this side and see if we can trick shot some people. So, okay, it's nighttime and I'm poisoned. Thanks, Creeper. Very much appreciate it. <laughs> All right, let me wait for just a second until I can see again. And here we go. Whee! 
boom. Ah, uh, he hadn't spawned yet. God dang it. <laughs> I thought I could do something cool, and it didn't work out. Oh, there are a lot of you. There are a lot of you, and... Okay, thanks for sneaking up behind me. What a nice guy. Oh, God. Okay, get out of here. Yikes. I'm just gonna hang out here for... Uh, so many infernals. So many infernals. It's unbelievable. Ooh. Ooh, I got a freezerite helmet. That's my... Very first full set of, of Freezerite right there, which is kind of cool. Thank you. And that helmet actually looks snazzy. That helmet looks really snazzy. Check that out. Check that out. I look like a cross between Darth Vader and, and Robocop. <laughs> That's majestic. That is absolutely majestic. And I kind of, and it has protection four on it already. Oh, that's just great. That's fantastic. All right. Well, I'm not going to complain about that. Let me let me grab this and see if there's anything else to see over here. Mhm. <laughs> Let's continue over in this. Have we taken everyone out? No, I don't think we have. He's just sitting there having a jolly good time. Meanwhile, I'm going to take him out just like I've taken out all of his friends. And you're sitting over there just having a jolly good time as well. And now the pain. Ooh, here we go. This is the entryway to the place, perhaps. Is it? Is this the entryway to the place? Or is this just... Coincidentally, there is a mine. No, because the stairs are leading right down to it. That couldn't be a coincidence. That has to be part of the generated structure. All right, they are... It's under construction. Okay, let's just take everyone out. Boom. Oh, oh, too big. Too big in the plays department. Too big in the plays department. See you guys later. 40 levels. 40 levels of experience right here. Woo! Too strong. Although that only has 77 durability and I'm not sure that I want to lose it because it does look just oh so snazzy. So let me put my diamond helmet back on despite the fact that it doesn't look nearly as cool. Okay. Anything in here? It is under construction so I'm not sure if we'll find any loot. Maybe we'll find some unused pieces of, of construction material like wood and bricks and oh gotta just hardcore parkour on over to the uh the chest over here is that how we're gonna do it oh man just those hardcore parkour skills iron big sword i don't think that does as much damage as we would like for it to do so let's continue on because again the most damaging swords are the ender giant and the diamond giant. Need I remind you? I think not. Okay, I think we're done with this little area right here. And shall we continue? I think we shall. Nice, just as a piston laying out there. I'm not sure why, but whatever. It's all good, it's all good. More leather and beanstalk. I think we've gotten that before. And it wasn't, <laughs> wasn't something we figured out how to use. So I'll just stick with what I've got. Okay. So, ooh, double chest. Oh, look at the green double chest. How pretty. So very pretty. And gold ingot. And, okay, cool. So, with that out of the way, I think we've taken care of what's easily accessible here. Except we haven't actually fully gone into this. Nope, just curves on up. Okay. Fairly straightforward, and I just picked up a bunch of stuff that I don't actually need. And why is there a chest just sitting up here for no reason? Hello. Hello, very... Christmassy chest, um, ice grenade. I should just I should try these things occasionally, just because. Why not? I'm gonna throw an ice grenade and see what happens. Wee, nothing. Uh, if I charge it up, does it do something? Nope. Probably just slows people down. So anyway, let's check out the mine down below. I should actually turn this thing into once I've conquered it. It is majestic enough that I believe it qualifies. For something that could be a, a home away from Jerry's tree for me. I do believe that there is a penguin inside. Penguins, you're welcome. You're welcome to be here. You can inhabit my soon-to-be humble abode. But uh, for the rest of these creatures, I'm not so sure that they fit in here. Oh, hello. Let's test out the ice grenade on you. Whee, how are you doing? Oh, you're just slowed. Super slowed. And you take damage from it as well. Fancy that. See you later, bud. Okay. And it keeps going down. Wow. There's just a whole set of mines down here. This is crazy. So, and is there also, what is going on? Is this intersecting an underground battle tower? Is that what's going on here? Hold on. We have a little bit of exploration to do. What the heck? What is this? 
What is this? I feel like these are these are different structures. These are two completely different structures that just happen to spawn on top of each other next to each other. Is this a battle tower? Huh. Yeah, it is. It's a battle tower inside of uh and then look at the nice Christmassy chests. How wonderful. Yeah, it's a battle tower inside of the uh like oh god. Oh god, I've fallen into the battle tower. I've made a terrible mistake. Oh god. And now I'm kind of stuck in here. Oh jeez. No, I can jump out. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, we'll leave that for later because again, uh, we do want to check out some more underground battle towers since they uh, apparently can have hexit gear in them. But for now, we'll continue through the mines below my... Wow, this stuff just keeps going, doesn't it? It's crazy. Hello, walkers. I wonder if there's a secret entrance somewhere. That would be kind of cool. See you later, bud. See you later. I know you're doing a you're doing a good duty as as a sentry guard, but uh, <laughs> here we go again. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, here they come. Here they come to be annoying. All right, all right. Leave it. No, you forced me to kill a cousin of Gary, and that's not cool. It's really uncool of you to do. All right, surprise I don't don't let me don't. I don't want to take out the bat. All right. Oh my God, my second arrow just killed the bat. Ay. I cannot believe this right now. That's not very okay. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Just a minute. Getting a little bit overwhelming in here. Yes. Yeah, damn it. It's killing bats all over the place. I don't like when that happens. I like to. I like to be nice to my batty friends, and that's not a way to be nice. Whew. So shall we continue? Does it does it go even further down than we currently are? Cause that would be crazy. Okay, fortunately we have a good amount more torches, and I think we may have reached the uh, the lowest level. You know, I would have thought that there would be uh, more stuff like to find down here in the mines, but uh, it doesn't seem like there is. We got some some ice, some coal. Oh, 